Hi guys, how are we doing? Welcome to this week's analysis. Uh, I hope you guys made some money in the last week. I gave you some trades. I gave you some buys on USDPS. If you watched the video, I believe you made some money. Thanks for joining and thanks for the trust. I appreciate you all. So for this week, I'm going to go straight to the points. I'm not going to waste much of your time. So for this week, I'm still expecting a sell on USDPS. I'm expecting a sell. We bought last week. Got some confirmations on bots. After a break of this, if you took this, that should be a good trade. This was a new sell. If you caught it, CPI news. Congratulations. But right now we are in a zone we can expect anything from. We have this resistance zone that the market is at right now. We can see some weak exhaustions. But what's, even if there is a sell, I'm not going to just sell down here now. If I see a confirmed real impulsive break and a retest, then I can sell this to whatever the market gives me. So what can be my guide is this trend line. If I don't, if the market comes to this trend line and I see a, an engulfing candle, I can continue buying as well. But always wait for your confirmation. Same thing for my AUD USD, which is the second USD pair I trade most. Um we have this and we test you can see a lot of a lot of consolidation here we have a break in this area price we have a break in this little area given this we have a break here we're giving this little box another block which the market just tapped into and you can expect some more down stuff so that's another confirmation to tell you I can actually expect to sell this market. I missed this trade. If you had something like this on this other block, you'll be in profit right now. But then doesn't mean you missed a lot. So what you can do with your FIB is maybe do your, you know, from where the impulse started to this and see if you can catch it up the way to this trend line. I won't be targeting more than this trend line. So if I if I can join this trade, I will all the way to this zero level. So after which, if I see a break and a retest, then I will see if I can sell more. But right now, we just carry it to this trend line because of this break of structure that I see here, the break of this level here. The market will always show you what it wants to do. If you are willing to get the messages passing. It gave you a message here, you know, it's actually reacting to it. So we can expect the respect of this other block and carry this all the way down here, which I will still be expecting to carry this if I get the break and retest to carry it down further. So um, I think AED USD did the same thing, but in this case, uh, GBP USD, rather, sorry, I think GBP USD did the same thing. It broke the structure here and uh, still in the process of expecting this other block. Although if your stop loss is kind of tight, you might have been stopped out, you know, because it's actually weakening around it. And you can expect downfall to maybe all the way to the zero level here. Too. So that's another way to look at it. But then, like I said, for GU, I'll be waiting for a break and retest. Then I can carry it maybe down here to this trend line here. And if I don't get it, I'm not going to join GU. AU, if I see a break of this level again and a retest, I'll carry it all the way down here. Then let's go to GJ, guys. For GBP, JPY, I got the sell last week. But right now, where we are sitting, we are at negative 27 and uh, we have a break of a, of a high. This is our weekly level. We're expected to have a consolidation. So what I can do for GJ is wait. I'm going to wait. If I, if I can get, 
an impossible move breaking this trend line and a retest, maybe I can buy. But this is actually the trend line I'm looking forward to. So I don't really have a bias on that. Let me just put it down. But GCAD, guys, this thing kept going up without breaking our trend line. We've been waiting for this for like two weeks now. That's not giving us any confirmation yet. And I have a lot of supplies on our head. So it's not about the market getting to my supply zone. Like I said, I won't just take a trade because it's in my supply zone. I'll keep following with trend line. If I see an impulsive move, breaking my trend line and you know retesting that's when I'm going. We have a lot of divergence. So this thing is still diverging. Kept going up while our RSI is pointing down. So we wait. You wait till it's ready. Don't force the market. It won't respect it because you think it's going to do something. Wait till it tells you it's ready. So I'm going to wait, guys. I'm going to wait. Then GBP chef, we are in another block as well. I'm expecting a sell for GBP chef. I'm expecting a sell for GBP chef. So the main reason why I would be actually expecting to sell GBP chef more is because look at this guys. I have a I have a little break of structure here. Right, so I have a bit of structure here. So we can expect the market coming back to this other block here. Right, then you can now maybe draw your feet from here all the way to here. And expect it to come to this other block down here where we have an unfilled gap. But I won't join this cell. Uh, until I have a break and a retest of my trend line. If I get a break and a retest, I'm going to sell GBVHF all the way down here, maybe here or here, any one of the two. This other block has been filled. We're waiting for this one down here. So if it decides to, we're going to carry it down. Thanks, guys. Um, What else? What else do I have? What else do I have? I think that's all. I just have a trade on GBVHF, your DSG card, and GTF. I don't want to give you guys so many trades, you know. I have a lot of trade I'm monitoring, and these are all my money lists. You can see this is my money list. These are the trades I'm more focused on now. I don't just trade them. So do you have, if you have anything to say, any questions to ask me, you need a mentorship program, you need a help, you know, getting this, reach out to me on my Instagram or via message i'll reply you guys thanks very much for sticking to the channel i appreciate you all have a profitable one